Hey there, Jessica here with Crochet It Creations, and today we are going to work a half double crochet foundation row. I have cotton, peaches, and cream yarn that I found at my local Walmart store, and I am using an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to go ahead and take this label off. And you can also, um, I chose cotton because I'm going to continue to work a washcloth with this um, after this foundation row is finished. So start off with a slip knot. Wrap that around. Okay. So in order to do a foundation half double crochet row, we're going to chain two. This will not count as a stitch. Yarn over. Place the hook into that first chain. And then we're going to pull up a loop. Oop, I split the yarn, so I'll do that again. Insert into the first chain, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through that first loop. And then here's your, so this is your, basically your chain that we're working, and this is your half double crochet stitch. So you're doing them both together. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So the foundation, um, so why not use just a row of chains and then half double crochet across versus doing the foundation half double crochet? Um, that is because doing the foundation rows, they're a little stretchier, and it, beats trying to chain, like if you have a long chain that you're making, um, it's a little bit easier just to make the chain and the first row together in this foundation row versus having to make a long row of chains and count. So, um, yarn over, and then we're gonna place, so as you can see, let me tap the screen and see if it helps with the light. So as you can see, there's like a chain here, so there's, stitch right there. So we're going to insert in there. So yarn over, pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through that first loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Do that again. Yarn over, insert through both of those, yarn over, Pull through one, yarn over, pull through three. So yarn over, insert through there, pull through one loop, pull through all three. So yarn over, insert through there. See, so you could see it looks like a chain is being developed. So pull off that first loop. Pull through all three. So you can either stop here and practice or um, use this for what you're making or we can continue on to making the washcloth. So the washcloth we will do a foundation half double crochet of 22 stitches. not sure how many stitches I have done yet so I need to stop and count 
So like I said, the first chain here does not count as a stitch, so we're just going to count these top loops. They're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we need to get to 22. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So let's take a look at what this foundation row looks like. So it looks just like here's your chain, there's your half double crochet stitches, it's nice and stretchy. So if you're using making clothing or um, any other item that you want a little bit of stretch to it or to look more natural for the rest of the pattern, the foundation row works perfect. So to continue on for the washcloth, chain one and turn. So now your half double crochet, you're going to go through these two loops here. This is the top loops. Um, so yarn over, insert there. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. So I will tell you, I love homemade washcloths or dishcloths. They are perfect for washing dishes. You definitely want to use cotton yarn, 100% cotton. Um, other yarns will not um, work as nicely. And then you can also use... Um, you know, bleach and stuff on the whites to help get them clean and everything. So, um, we definitely use crochet dishcloths in our house. So, keep working across, making your half double crochet stitches, and we will continue doing this. So, just half double crocheting across. This is just a simple washcloth pattern. Um, very beginner friendly. If you need extra help on making a half double crochet stitch, um, I do have another YouTube video that goes over that also. So chain one and turn. So this chain one, like I said, does not count as a stitch. Yarn over, insert into that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, insert a stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. With crocheting, it's all about your tension, how you're holding the yarn in your non-dominant hand for how tight these stitches are. So if you are very new to crocheting, um, really practice how you're holding this yarn here. Make sure it's not too loose, too tight. That really controls how um, your tension is and how big or small these stitches are. So just continue working across and we will stop at 12 rows to give us a nice square washcloth. So I'm going to continue working this for my 12 rows and then um, I will show you the finished product. So I will see you in a bit. All right, so I have finished my dishcloth. It, um, I did go to row 13 instead of row 12 like I had told you. I forgot in order to get about a nice square, it's about seven inches by seven inches, you need to go to row 13. So I went ahead and cut my strand. We will finish off by looping around, pulling straight through, and then you can take and weave in these tails with a finishing um, needle. So, and that is it. You have a perfect cotton dishcloth. These are nice. They hold up very well. And as you can see, 
I have a lot left over from this um, ball here, so I can make, I think, two more. Um, so I think with this pattern, this will make about three dishcloths. So I hope you enjoy this, and I hope that you uh, watch more of my videos and check out my patterns on crochetcreations.com. Thanks.